Another important reason why God is not bringing judgment to the house of God yet is because God is faithful to his covenant. One day I sat down and I was saying, Lord, why has it become a fashion, a vogue, a blight in our society now that an average person doesn't have anything to post on the social media than to criticize the fathers in the faith? And God began to give me several reasons. And I said, those people, you know, majority of them are those who are brought up in the church, whose fathers are pastors, leaders, elders, deacons, and all that. Why is it? God gave me several reasons. But among the reasons, the one that touched me most is the fact that God has decided not to judge them now because most of them have relatives have parents that are walking right with God and who is crying to God day and night and God is a covenant keeping God if he will strike that son if he will strike that daughter who is blasphemy on the social media is going to tell on the parent who is worshiping the Lord who is serving him in holiness that is one of the reason why God seemed to be quiet but those who don't have understanding they think that what they are doing is right in as much as they are doing it and they are escaping the judgment hear this very well young man god is waiting at the end of the tunnel are you here to frustrate ministers of god are you here to join with the devil to eradicate the gospel of jesus christ are you trying to turn the heart of the people against the scriptures are you going to throw the bath water of the child with the child away who has given you the koboko to continue to flog the children of god because of their error when jesus himself is up there looking for how to cleanse his church and you are busy showing evil despising people disregarding elders some of these men received the call of god when the call of god was not cheap some of them abandoned their ambition we they have equal right to pursue like you are pursuing your own some of them despise the goodness of this world like moses and they chose to follow the lord and they follow the lord in lack in needs in problem in difficulty they didn't call on you at that time you wouldn't see that at that time in the days when the church the, the preachers are suffering in the days when those who give up their ambition to serve the lord at a full time when they are considered by their parents as a loss to the family that is when some of these fathers receive their calling and you young young people who don't have any experience who don't know god who don't know what it takes you open your mouth you'll be castigating them and speaking against them oh i weep for you because you don't know you are indirectly partnering with the devil to eradicate the gospel from the surface of the earth repent repent because the lord jesus told them he said when the people came back from the farm he told the people that they should not destroy the tars from among the wheat now they should hold on in matthew chapter 13 those servants said master do we go there are so many ties now in the midst of the of the of the wheat should we go and uproot and cut all the ties away he said no don't do it now but adventure when you are doing it you will mistakenly be cutting the wheat that is the example I've given you. If God will judge some of us, our parents who are working with God, what would they say about that God who killed their children? Would they say Jesus is a killer? Will Jesus have rewarded them for their devotion, for their commitment, for their lifelong investment in the gospel of Jesus Christ? God is not a covenant breaker. He has made covenant with some of those fathers that they will never weep over their children. But you child, when you desire decide to go out of that father and you are castigating heaven you are castigating ministers of god you are castigating these fathers don't know that you are supporting hell repent for the time is near very soon the master will give a command for a harvest let them go let the tires and the wheat grow up together let there seem to be no judgment for the wicked let them be saying what they like 
Let them do what they like. Let them go killing. Let them go do fraud. Let them come to church and take big seats in the church. Let the people be hailing them. Even though they are thieves, they are robbers. Let some elders, let them begin to sleep with their wives, one another's wives, committing fornication and adultery in the church. Let some choir leader continue to sleep with ladies and say, he's serving the Lord. He said, a time is come. That's the time of harvest. When he will give command to go and reap the harvest of the field. But he says this, all of them will be harvested, but some will be harvested into the barn of glory. Of comfort of grace why the other ones will be invested into destruction by fire I plead with you repent stop this ignorance don't continue in filthiness don't continue in unrighteousness don't continue persecuting the gospel 